consider consider a particle in uniform uniform circular motion let r be its radius let r be its radius suppose a particle is moving in a circular path with a uniform velocity let o be its center and r be its radius let a be its initial position and the velocity at a be v now after some time let the position of the particle be at the point b again the velocity uh, this is the radius of the path the velocity will be like this always remember the velocity vector is always perpendicular to its radius so the which means oa is perpendicular to this vector v similarly ob is perpendicular to this vector v let's call this angle as delta theta which means let delta theta be the angular displacement angular displacement let the time taken by the particle to move from a to b be delta t delta t be the time taken be the time taken clear now if you consider this triangle aob uh, this length ab this length ab will be the displacement of the particle this ab will be the displacement delta s ab is the displacement of the particle displacement in time delta t and if you draw this triangle made by the velocity separately that is if, if i take a length similar to this length here and parallel to the vector v similarly if i take this this length correspond a length corresponding to this vector and draw a line parallel in this region like this if this is v this also is v and this angle will also be delta theta the reason is the angle between two lines will be will always be the angle between their perpendiculars that is if a b a b and a c are any two lines and if theta is the angle between them and if i draw a line perpendicular to a b like this and another line perpendicular to a c like this then angle between these two lines let's call this point d and let's call this point e that is angle between d c and e b e will will also be then so will also be theta it is if I take this line separately, this is B E and this is uh, this point. I can merge this C and B, and that point will be C D, and this angle also will be theta. Simply, the angle between any two lines will also be the angle between their perpendiculars. Clear. The velocity remains the same the magnitude of the velocities remains the same since it is in a uniform circular motion if you join this line the tip of these vectors and call, you can call that as delta v change in velocity now consider this triangle aob and let's call this triangle b e c from we have we have triangle a o b similar to triangle d e c how 
C O A equal to O B. Similarly, E C equal to E D. And the angle between these two lines are is the same. So you can by the property or by the theorem of S A S side angle side, these two triangles are similar. Also, the corresponding sides are proportional. So you can write A B A B divided by that is A B divided by O A or A O is equal to similarly D C D C divided by D E. Sorry, D C D C divided by D E. So what is the length of AB? AB is delta S. Delta S divided by AO. AO is the radius of the circle R. Is equal to what about del DC? Let's consider only the magnitude and you can write as that as delta V by DE. D is only, if you take only the magnitude, then DE will be B. Clear? Also, V, if you take this V to the left, V delta S by R equal to delta V. That is, delta V is equal to V, del v by R delta S. And if you divide both these terms on the left and on the right with the term delta T, that is with the time delta T, what you get? That let's call this as equation number 1 and what I am doing is I am dividing equation 1 with delta t. This is equation number 1 and equation number 1 divided by delta t implies delta v by delta t is equal to v by r delta s by delta t implies you know, change in velocity by time, acceleration is, is the quantity which is equal to change in velocity by time. So, this will be acceleration. Write it here. This is equal to acceleration and V by R, same as this. But delta S by delta T, what is the quantity which is equal to change in velocity by time? Definitely, it is velocity. So, this will be velocity implies A is equal to V times V is V square, V square by R. So, the quantity V square by R is called the centripetal acceleration. Clear? Since if you take this vector sign, if you, if you take the direction of delta V, the direction of delta V will always be towards the center. Suppose if you draw this delta V here, see this one is this is parallel to this and this is the delta V. Definitely it is towards the center. So there is an acceleration always directed towards the center always and we call that as central petal acceleration. Now, we already know, we already know V is equal to R omega, but V equal to R omega. If you substitute it in here, that is A is equal to, instead of V, if you write R omega whole square, divided by r this will be r square omega square by r therefore acceleration will be if you can you can cancel this r and nr here acceleration will be r omega square so these two are the expressions for centripetal acceleration